Paul, stick around for a coffee, because I've got another issue with my credit card. If someone else in my house takes it and uses it <laughs> without my... <laughs> OK. Green lie. I'll we'll talk to you later. Stick around for coffee, Paul. My shout. All right, I'll put it on my credit card. A chainsaw changing subject is probably the last thing you'd expect to be used to create art, but that's exactly what's happening at the Australian Chainsaw Carving Championships this week. Now, for more, we're joined by Australian contender Eddie Freeman and Texas chainsaw artist Griffin Ramsey. Gentlemen, Eddie, how did you realise you could use a chainsaw to sculpt? Uh, I started uh, in the timber industry, so I've uh, had a background in chainsaws, and one day I started carving when it was wet, when I couldn't work in a barn, so I carved out a kangaroo. Now, you came second last year with an eagle design, which was brilliant. What will you need to pull out of the bag to take first place? Uh, it's just going to be incredible this year because the talent is so high. Uh, it's just going to... Well, it'd have to be a miracle. You just don't know what's going to happen. Now, Griffin, you bring a bit of glamour to this sport. How hard is it to work intricately with such a, a massive and dangerous thing like a chainsaw? Well, it was kind of tricky at first, but then I started to collect more saws, and you can see this one right here is a tiny little point. So you can actually get quite a lot of detail with it. How long does it take to, to complete a sculpture? It depends on the size and the level of detail. This will take us the whole time. OK, what's, what's the, the biggest thing that you've been proud of? Um, I made a 14-foot totem pole that I really love. A 14-foot totem pole? How long did it take you to do that? Well, I just started, so it took me several weeks. All right. So, but I think now it probably wouldn't take me nearly as long. No, I'm sure it wouldn't. Now, though, just to finish this off, uh, a question which is vitally important as we see some of the uh, material you work with. Uh, have you had any close calls? No. <laughs> now with no. a chainsaw. All the safety gear, we've, as you can see, we've got on now, so it's there for a reason if something does go wrong. No, you have to be very cautious in what you do. Yeah, see. How, how much practice do you put in? Um, a lot of, well, you start off just playing around like I did, and then uh, now, like, I'm a full time uh, chainsaw carver, so every day is always practice, and so you're always learning mm -hmm. how to use the chainsaw more and more. And uh, the grain of the timber tells you a lot of stories too. Yeah, good on you. And anyone watching, stay behind the fence. Congratulations on all your efforts and all the best uh, into the future, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Alicia? Oh, he looks right at home with that chainsaw in his hand, doesn't he?